What's cracking guys? Omar Isaf here, back with another video. We got something cool today. This is gonna explore programming, why your current program might not work for you, why a template might not fit. It's a recent study by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, aka The Bronefeld, aka Jack Christopher Watkins, taking a look at 75% of someone's one rep max, how many repetitions they can perform. And what they found is that there's a huge variance. You see, the subjects on average, I think they had one year of training experience, so they do count as trained individuals. I think they were doing at least two workouts per week. They measured their leg press at 75% of their one rep max. So let's assume your squat, your deadlift, your bench, it doesn't matter what the movement is. 75%, how many reps do you think you can perform? They measured these individuals, they tested them out, and there was a huge variance, like I said. Some individuals, the lowest person, only could do seven repetitions. The highest person, 24. That is a tremendous variance, and that can highlight right then and there why a percentage-based program for some people might not work. Because as I said before in a previous video, when I performed four or five or 12 repetitions on the squat at about 80%, some people could probably do it at 80%, maybe seven repetitions, but their one rep max will be higher than mine, and that's why programming sub-maximal loads can get tricky. And here's what I mean, some people thought, with this study that the variance could be as a result of RPE. So some people didn't push themselves, right? The guy that got seven repetitions, well, if he just pushed himself, maybe he could have got more reps. And that could account for maybe one or two more repetitions if you understand how RPE works. But again, on the low end of the spectrum was seven reps. On the high end was 24 reps at 75%. That's way too damn big. And what this means from a practical standpoint is if you do a percentage-based program, and let's say it calls for 75%. You're supposed to do three sets of eight. It's just, you know, it's a program and it, it's reasonable. Most people within that distribution, probably 50 to 60%, it'll work for. But for that remaining percentage of people that don't perform well at reps at a given percentage, they're gonna suffer. And their RP is gonna be way too high, right? They're gonna be doing, you know, an RP9, RP10, when it really should be an RP7 or eight. And if you do this over time, what will tend to happen is you'll accumulate too much fatigue. You have some people on the other end of the spectrum that are really good at reps like I talked about before and they're doing it all damn day and their RP is quite low and they're making great progress and then other individuals where they're suffering because they can't perform the given amount of repetitions at that percentage. You need to customize programming over time Templates can absolutely work to get you a rough ballpark, but that's when I talk about individualization and knowing your body, and that's why I said before, for me, I know I'm actually not great at rep work, and I actually have some anecdotal uh, evidence, some uh, personal experience that I think individuals that are better at rep work, and then when it comes to strength training, they'll have a better hypertrophic effect, so they're able to build more muscle as a result of that, because if you train at 80% and you do 12 repetitions, you're probably gonna elicit a greater uh, uh, growth response than someone that can only do four or five repetitions. So I think it's all intertwined. But for you right now, if you're doing programming and you have all the variables matched up, your outside environmental factors, how much you sleep, how much you eat, your overall stress, and you're following a percentage-based program and it's just not clicking for you, the, the numbers just seem off, this could potentially explain it. Once again, this amount of variance at 75%, some people only doing seven repetitions and other people doing 24. What do you need to do? Well, you need to find what works right for you. Maybe switch over to slightly more RP, find out how you work in given rep ranges. And over time, if you train you know, in uh, sets of six or seven or train in a 75 percentage range, over time you could probably be able to do a few more reps, but your programming will look drastically different than someone that could do 24 reps at 75%. So this just highlights the need for individualization and in programming, why some people on a strength-based program might not experience a lot of hypertrophy, and why some individuals out there, they've heard really good things about a particular program. 60% of people get amazing results and then other people don't and they're wondering if it's them well that's where customization comes in anyways that's all the time we have today in this video that i want to talk about i've been loving my recent strength progress i'm thinking about a lot of these things i saw that bryce lewis posted about this and then i saw the study by brad schoenfeld who conducts great research 
If you like this video, make sure to like the damn video and follow what I'm gonna say. This is why at Kaizen Training, we're very proud of our programs where it uses a combination of percentage and RP based programming to get the best possible results for the most amount of people. We provide effective, affordable training programs. We right now have a maximum hypertrophy program that is discounted 40% off, so it's $30 off until this Sunday night. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. I'm out of here. I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next one. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.